Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about proning in critical care. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the session. What is proning? Prone positioning means turning a patient from the supine position to the prone position to improve oxygenation. Prone ventilation is ventilation that is delivered with patients lying in the prone position. Let's look into the indications for proning. Moderate to severe acute respiratory distress syndrome with PaO2 FiO2 ratio less than 150 mmHg. When patient needs more than 60% or 0.6 of FiO2 and when PEEP is more than 5 cm H2O. Now, let's discuss how we calculate PaO to FiO2 ratio. It's otherwise called Horowitz index. It is the ratio of arterial oxygen partial pressure to fractional inspired oxygen. FiO2 is expressed as fraction and not as a percentage. Now, looking at the example, partial pressure of oxygen is 85. FiO2 is 0.6 that is 60% is converted to fraction Now dividing this that is 85 by 0.6 we get 141 which is the PF ratio As we mentioned earlier less than 150 mm Hg is the indication for prone position Now contraindications for proning are recent abdominal surgery pregnancy unstable cervical spine cardiovascular instability, head injury with increased intracranial pressure, eye or facial injury, pelvic fracture, thoracolumbar spinal injury, ascites or obesity, patients with IABP. Let's discuss about the aims of prone position. To improve oxygenation and respiratory mechanics. To homogenize the pleural pressure gradient, the alveolar inflation and the ventilation distribution. To increase lung volume and reduce the amount of atelectactic region. To facilitate the drainage of secretions. To reduce ventilator associated lung injury. Let's discuss articles required for prone positioning. Gloves, pillows 4 to 5, 2 bed sheets, iPads, ECG electrodes, donut pillow for head, closed circuit suctioning, extra ventilator circuit, crash cart, intubation trolley. Next comes pre-proning preparation. Identify the patient, check the order for proning and explain the procedure to the patient relatives. Check the patient from head to toe for lines and tubings. Starting in order, in nose there may be Ryle's tube and mouth there may be endotracheal tube and for neck there may be a central venous catheter line and in chest we can find the ECG leads and then arterial line in the femoral area and Foley's catheter. Now let's discuss the responsibilities for handling one by one. First is Withhold the feed to prevent aspiration. Feeding is withhold at least 2 hours before positioning. Nasogastric aspiration should be done before prone positioning. Provide a proper oral hygiene and perform oral suctioning. Perform endotracheal suctioning. Check the endotracheal cuff pressure. Protect the eyes of the patient with eye pads. Next, lines and drains. If chest drains are present, they should be positioned properly. If ostomy bags are present, they have to be emptied before positioning. And regarding Foley's catheter, the catheter is secured in the inner thigh so that while positioning, it will be easy and prevents obstruction. Mark the levels where endotracheal tube and nasogastric tubes are fixed. 
ECG leads are removed from the chest because after positioning the patient to prone, they are placed in the back of the patient. Next, procedures prior to proning. If there are procedures like central venous catheterization or Foley catheterization, they have to be done before the prone positioning. Check the length of the breathing circuit, whether it will be adequate while turning the patient to prone position. Before proning, ABG sampling is to be done. Next is team briefing. The team should discuss and understand each one of their responsibilities for positioning. Next is administration of sedation or paralyzing agent as per the order. Pre-oxygenate the patient prior to proning. So these are the points to be followed before giving prone position to the patient. Now regarding the duration of proning, generally 16 to 18 hours of proning is given to the patient. Now regarding staffing, minimum 5 members are required for prone positioning. Doctor or respiratory therapist stands at the head end of the patient to handle the airway and coordinates with the team. Two nurses on each side of the patient is required for sliding and turning the patient. Now, let's discuss about the process of proning. After pre-proning preparation, first is positioning. Place the patient in supine position. Lower down the side rails and head end attachment should be removed. Ensure there is a sheet under the patient for sliding. Arm closest to the ventilator is tucked under the buttock. Next is placement of pillows and flat sheet. Place one or two pillows on patient's chest at the axilla level. Place one pillow across the iliac crest. Place one pillow on the knee. Place the flat sheet on the top of pillows and patient with neck exposed. This is one of the technique for prone positioning. Next is patient wrapping and proning. Roll both the sheets that is top and the bottom sheets together. This will be done by the staffs present at the side of the patient. The respiratory therapist and the doctor present at the head end of the patient are responsible for protecting the head and the ET tubings of the patient. Slide patient across the edge of the bed and it should be away from the ventilator. Roll the patient in lateral position and at this point ensure lines, catheters and tubes are free of tension. Ensure pillows are positioned properly on patient's chest and pelvis. Patient is lowered carefully towards the ventilator onto the supporting pillows and into the prone position. Next is, what do we do after proning? Remove the lower sheet to prevent skin injury. Position the head to the side facing the ventilator. Absorption pad should be placed under the face to collect the oral secretions. Eyes should be moist and lids closed at all the times. Donut ring are placed at the head end to relieve facial pressure. Position the head and arms in swimming position. Place the patient in reverse Trendelenburg position. Perform endotracheal suctioning. Check the position of the ET tube and cuff pressure. Place the ECG leads on the back of the patient. Check all the lines and tubes for the position and function. Check the need for sedation and analgesics. Check the pressure point areas are adequately protected from pressure injuries. For large-breasted women, position breast laterally to reduce pressure on nipples and breast tissues. Male genitalia should hang freely. Iliac roll helps to raise pelvis. Foley's catheter should be positioned between patient's legs. Feet should be maintained in dorsiflexion. Check the hemodynamic status of the patient. Ensure abdomen is not compressed. There is already a pillow under the chest and pelvis of the patient and so the abdomen will not be compressed. This is made sure by inserting an arm which goes and come back freely. Perform post-proning ABG sampling. 
check all the lines and brains for their position and if they are connected properly. Next is assessing post proning for tolerance by monitoring respiratory rate, respiratory effort, ventilatory synchroning, SpO2, ABG and calculation of PF ratio. Next comes complications of prone ventilation. Pressure source, ETT dislodgement, facial edema, transient hemodynamic instability, corneal abrasions, brachial plexus injury, hemodialysis vascular access flow issues. So this is one of the technique for prone positioning. There are also other techniques for providing prone position and it may vary according to hospital policies. So far what we have discussed is just an idea for nurses to provide prone positioning. Follow your institutional policies for prone positioning. Here we go with prone positioning and the techniques. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.